Hello friends! Welcome to Turtle Power Presents Power Playthroughs Project with Turtle Power. I'm your host, Turtle Power, and I'm checking out a little bit of Skylia, the Skylia Prophecy today, um, which I gather is kind of a Metroidvania-ish game. Um, I was given a copy of this to check out here. Um, I played a lot of Metroidvania games lately, uh, including having recently finished up um, Metroid Prime. Um, this one's been out on the Switch for a little bit, I want to say. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I think it leans more on the Castlevania side of things than the Metroid side. Wow, my volume seems very high on my end. In the year 1706 of the Third Age of the Old World, the Sorcerer Forest wrote the Book of Shadows and prophesied that a young girl would come to rule over something, probably the land. Sorry, I was trying to adjust my volume and didn't realize that there was story on the screen. Um, let's check the options real quick as we do. Music, yes. Sound effects, yes. Vibration, yes. And language are our options there. Um, we're looking at a title screen here for the Skylia Prophecy. On the left, we have a, a, a woman in a pink, um, like, overcoat type thing. And, oh, I thought she had, like, a um, a thing over her eye, a, a Dragon Ball Z power scanner thing. But it looks like it was just her eyebrow I was seeing. And then there's a woman on the left who uh, is dressed in a, a vest and a bra and has an exposed belly and arms and then big gloves on and, a, like, a wrap over her head. And she's summoning forth a blue fireball-looking thing. In the background, there's a woman who appears to be topless uh, with a long blue hair and big old dark angel wings. And then on the right is a hooded figure that looks very mysterious. Can't tell who they are at all. Um, let's go ahead and start a new game on normal. All right, we're looking at a white screen here um, with a, kind of a texture in the background, and then there's text in red pixel art that says, "The Nine Year War concluded." <clears throat> excuse me. The Nine Year War concluded when the Dark Lord fell and his power was broken, ending the world, ending the old world, and giving birth to a new one built on hope and unified lands. But the Dark Lord was not killed, for the elders feared that should he ever perish, the demons would rampage uncontrollably until a new leader, even more powerful than the old, would emerge. So it was decided to seal him away instead until a young girl named Marina ignored all warnings and slew the Dark, uh, the Lord of Darkness, in hopes to avert an ancient prophecy foretold in the book of shadows but the elders were right and the demons became relentless in their pursuit of a new leader they ransacked towns and villages killed the men and took their women until finally a group of heroes led by a retail legendary warrior of the nine year war and maria's foster aunt stood against them meanwhile marina fled filled with war and regret decided to take matters into her own hands while the heroes in order fought the demons she sought to end the something the book of shadows the same book something dark lord in the first place despite her terror forbidden to read it something uh where it could be shackled and ultimately trapped seen the something marina began a three-year-long journey something where the darkest powers and then it faded to black so that text went too quickly and and then faded before it even reached the top of the screen. Um, I'm now on a screen um, where uh, I am a uh, the the character with the black trench coat. I kind of look like the way she's standing is like a little like uh, she looks almost a little zombieish, and she's got a big old spike hand on one hand. I think it's like a, a sword thing. It kind of looks like uh, like the sword that the Master Chief uses in the Covenant games. I mean the Halo games. Uh, there's a girl here who says, Marina, I finally found you. Please come back to us. There's no need to go any further. I urge you to reconsider. Abandon this futile quest and return back home with me. And then and then a spider crab appeared. Um, but it's low to the ground and I can't crouch and attack? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I, I can make a shield with R2. I can't, I, there's no down stab. I cannot crouch and attack. I don't, I just, ah, my shield makes him explode. Weird. Dear gods, it has already begun. The monsters are drawn towards you. Marina, you have to stop. We have to kill the monsters in this town and then get out of here. Look out, there's another one. And this one's a skeleton. I can stab him with my stabby sword. And now another one comes in. This invasion cannot be a coincidence. This is their, there is their leader. Strike him or blow him up using the powder keg. Stand before it and block, but beware! If you stand too close, the explosion will rip you apart. And I see there's a, 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 a flying skeleton who's throwing rocks at me, like flying skeletons do. And I exploded him with a powder keg that was in front of him. And I will go talk to her again. Marina, you have to see that this is not right. If I can't get you to come home with me, at least protect these good people and leave this place. At least give me that. Well, we'll see. Uh, here's a, a person. A peddler, thank you for saving us. I hope this money helps you on the road ahead. I wish I could give you more, but I'm just an old man. You truly are a heroine. Thanks. And here's a, a monk-looking guy who says, The old religion may have been superseded by the new religion of the cross, but me and my brothers still follow the teachings of eagle. If you ever need guidance, find us and we shall provide wisdom. And this woman says, You really did well against those monsters. The health potion I gave you will come in handy on the road ahead. Trust me, and thank you. 
And this man says, Ah, you certainly can't handle yourself. You can use this key I gave you to open the door out of town. I hope you understand that I will lock the door again once you are gone. And then there's a blacksmith who says, I see you are quite the capable fighter. I will keep my eye on you. Should you ever wonder how many enemies you have slain, come find me. I will keep track of many more interesting statistics. And then there's a woman with her back to me, and she says, I want to help you as you helped us, but all I can give you is this mana potion. Please use it wisely. Good luck. And then there's there's a tree made out of skeletons and an invisible wall, but I passed a door with a keyhole in it, so I'll press up and go through the door. And now we're in the Mumkar Forest. And there's a skeleton, there's a spider who tried to drop from overhead onto us. Um, the, the pixel art in this is pretty nice. I, I like the look of things in general. Um, the powder keg, it looks real bland. The powder keg does not look like it fits in with the world. And I assume part of that is that, like, you need it to stand out so that people see it. Ooh, and use it to blow up a wall. Um, but it just, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look like it fits in. Okay, I climbed up a tree and jumped up to an area above, killed some spiders. Um, there's another skeleton. There's a crow flying around. I'll burn him up with my shield. That Burning things with an energy shield is pretty cool. Hey, here's a statue of like an angel woman holding some fire. Game saved. Cool. When I picked up the fire, it saved my game. Into another town, it looks like. Uh, this person says, There used to be a sprawling town named Talithia City north of here, but during the war, the river ran dry and most people abandoned it. Now it lies in ruin, and only a few people live there. All right. Next person says, My husband used to be a treasure hunter. He says there's still treasure in the rock to the east. That was a weird sound my phone made. Beyond the hall of pillars. But the road is blocked, and without a way to blow it up, it won't budge. A shame. This one says, I used to be married, but my husband died in the Nine Year War. Haven't found a good man ever since. Most of them fell in the war, of course. Good thing I have a dog. And this guy says, I've been keeping track of your deeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. And here's a mysterious cloak figure who says, dot, dot, dot. That's all they say. Here's a guy who looks like a pilgrim. King Mahatos ruled these lands when the Nine Year War first began. He was assassinated in the sixth year, and the kingdom fell into disarray. The monk says, from the Book of Eagle, those who help the ones in need shall be rewarded. Prove to be a friend to the people, and your reward shall ultimately be much greater than you anticipated. Guidance 11, 21, and 22. And then this baker looking man says, you're heading towards a dead end if you continue on this road. Well, there is the Hall of Pillars that lies further down, but it is haunted. Nobody knows who built it or what its purpose was, but it is quite agent. Let's go to the Hall of Pillars. Wait, here's a bar, maybe? Let's go inside. Uh, there's a woman inside who says, I've heard about you, lass. You're the one doing all the demon slaying. The people of these lands could use your help. Should you find yourself in need for some coin, complete a quest and I'll make it worth your while. All right, get new quest. The road to the east is blocked by debris. If you could find a way to rectify that problem, the townsfolk would be very thankful indeed. Uh, I try to click receive reward and she says, You haven't completed your previous quest yet, lass. Don't be greedy or rush into it. One thing at a time, yes? Alright. So we'll look for the blocked road to the east, and the Hall of Pillars are our two objectives right now. Um, the shield is very close range, but it's very effective. Like, I assume it takes some mana- Oh my gosh! A, a dryad just popped out of the tree and spit a leaf at me or something. Ow. Stop shooting me. Okay. I have only one health left. I want to kill this thing. There we go. I exploded the dryad. That's a dryad is like a tree folk, right? Do I have that right? Okay, here's a locked door. The door is locked. A basic key will not open it. And ahead of me is a woman who has like ebony like black black skin like like she's clearly some sort of a cat demon she has like pure black skin and uh orange high heeled boots and orange claws and an orange bikini and orange hair and red eyes let's talk to her um she says my my it appears you have placed yourself in quite the predicament my girl venturing forth without a basic key basic mistake that is but fret not retalos is here to help uh, I can provide you with a basic key to open the store. However, it does not come for free. While I will not charge you coin, my price will reveal itself eventually at a later time. So, are you willing to strike a bargain? Sure! We have an accord then. Here is your just reward, a basic key. Should you have need of my services again, we shall strike a bargain once more. I will return one day to claim what is mine. Until then, fare thee well. And she disappears! Here's that blocked road, uh, but I can see on the other side of the blocked road there is a uh, explosive barrel. So I'm going to go through this hall of pillars where there is a ghosty lady flying around. And hopefully I'll come out the other side. Ow! And I died. 
Um, and I got a game over. Is it gonna make me start back from where I saved? Yes, yes it is. Okay. So basically, oh, this is right before I talked to all those people, so I'll just run back. Oh wait, there's a shop. Hey, the shop sells a basic key. Um, the woman running the shop says, Welcome, this is my shop. If you have coin, I have what you need. Take a look around. You break it, you buy it. No free trials, either. I do have the lowest p prices you will find, so buy what you can. And she has a uh, health potion, a mana potion, an astralizer. Uh, use this to temporarily become invincible, ideal if you're fighting a strong enemy. Um, and a basic key for nine coins. And a revival elixir. Uh, refills all your health and mana when you die. A second lease on life. A true bargain at just 129 coins. I only have 50, but the basic key is only 9, so we're going to buy that. And that way we don't have to make a deal with a devil? Question mark later on. Um, so here we go through the town. Uh, past the tap. Oh, wait. We've got to stop in at the tavern and get our quest to open the path to the east. Yeah, give me a quest. Okay. All right, here we go. Pass some spiders, blow up a skeleton with the shield. Oh! Uh, blowing up the skeleton with my shield did not work. Apparently, it's not as effective as I thought. I'm only at one health. Let's go ahead and use the health potion. Um, how do I use it? There's no indication on how to use something. When I press A on the health potion, it gets highlighted. Oh, wait. There, there's no... So there, there, there's three slots that have a health potion, a mana potion, and an empty slot. And then the next row has three slots that are all empty, but one is, like, blue. And when I highlight the blue one, the mana potion is red. Or the, the health potion is red. And then there's a spot that has keys and stuff, but nothing nothing seems to do anything. Oh, I see. My health potion is up in my top left corner. So then if I press... Ah! L2 uses... Or, or rather, uh, what is it? L? Just L on a Switch controller, right? Uh, uses whatever item is shown in the top left. I got that now. Okay. Running through the Hall of Pillars, running past the ghosty ladies. And here's the door at the other side of Hall of Pillars. We'll pop out of it. Oh, no, we're still in the Hall of Pillars. We've just gone deeper in. Um, this is like a gargoyle creature that I didn't attack immediately because I thought maybe it was a friend. But it's not. It's spitting fireballs at me. And here's another one. Fireballs bounce around, but not in a pleasing pattern. They're like, fly straight across the screen, and then down, and then up, and then straight across the screen. That, that is not a good uh, bounce that you can reliably avoid necessarily in this game. Um... Some more skeletons and spiders. Whoop! Dodge the fireball. Oh, here's a, a woman in a red robe who's throwing fireballs at me. And she's just in a room all by herself. She's clearly a boss lady of some sort. I beat her, but there's still fireball flying around. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I got killed by the fireball after I beat her. That is so disheartening. Okay, let's let her save game. Okay, here we go. Through the town. Stop in at the shop. Buy a basic key. Check in with the uh, hooded person, because there are pictures on the title screen. Check in at the tavern to get a quest. Run past a spider. Kill a skeleton and a crow. Here's another skeleton. A skull spider. Past the dryad. Past a spider. Into the locked room. The devil lady's not even here anymore. The the one, the demon lady who was trying to give me a key the first time through, she just doesn't show up if I have the key. I wonder if we'll uh, meet her again later in our journey, or if we've just avoided her entirely. Okay. I only have five health, and uh, these gargoyles are, like, a little hard to hit without getting hit. I wonder if my shield can block a fireball, but I failed to find out because I did a bad job. Okay, into the next room... I've still got two health. I've got my health potion ready, but I'm hoping I can save it and use it right before that boss fight. Or maybe even in that boss fight. Alright, here we... Woo! Fireballs! Through the door! Okay, we're in the boss fight. Okay, got hit once. Used my health potion. There, we beat her. And I still have... four health. Alright, she left a red board... Or a red orb... A red orb behind, and it said mana shot. Uh, and now... Ooh... 
I pressed X and I shot out a ball of energy, but uh, it used up all my mana, so... Oh no, a gargoyle is going to hit me. Oh, I beat him before he could hit me. So I could use my mana potion and refill it, but if that thing only gets me one shot, that's not very good. I'm going to wait. Maybe I can use it to shoot through that wall of debris and hit the explosive barrel on the other side, is what I'm guessing. Um, the movement and combat in this all feels okay. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is the best Metroidvania ever. Like, um, the, the, the jumping is, is satisfyingly floaty. Um, you can change your direction as you jump, which is good. Okay, here's that mana potion. Yeah! We blew up the barrier. Ooh, made an opening, and there's a treasure chest on the other side. But before we go through there, let's run back to the bar and, uh, and, uh, turn in our completed quest, yeah? Okay. Uh, I've heard about you last- wait, I've already said that. Okay, receive reward. I see you blew up the debris that blocked the path to the east. Well done, lass. Here, have one on me. 25 coins for your spending pleasure. Cool, so now I have 66 total coins. I'm run past all these enemies again, and hopefully right on the other side of that wall we blew up is a save point. Because um, if there's one thing that's uh, frustrating in video games in 2021, on the Switch especially, it's when there's not enough save points. Um, oh, there's a Dryad over here. Okay, we gotta... I figured out with a Dryad, I think if I stand behind her, she can't hit me. So I just gotta get her to pop out. There, she's dead. And then we'll go up to this treasure chest and open it. And don't know what it gave me? It didn't say. So there's a couple of interface issues with this game. The menu screen doesn't have any information on it. Like, you cannot tell what's happening on the menu screen. It never tutorialized for me how to use um, my uh, inventory, nor did it tell me how to use that mana shot that I got. I just happened to figure it out and use up all my mana in the process. Um, when you pick up a chest, it doesn't tell you what's in the chest. Um, but right now, I'm having to, like, scale... A cliffside, I guess, kind of? But it's like, it, it didn't do a super good job of showing me where I was supposed to be going. So, like, I could see somebody getting stuck right at the start of this game, which would be really frustrating. Um, just by not being able to figure some stuff out. Um, ooh! I got a health level up for walking over a grave. That That's cool. So now I have six health. Cool. Um, let's go over here. Ooh, there's a big diamond thing. Hello, big diamond thing. I would like you very much mana level up all right there must have been one of those that looked red hidden behind that grave i guess maybe i just didn't notice it um there's a save point here we'll hit that game saved um it's it's very playable though let's check what the sign says here to golarth village it's totally playable it's just like buy a mana potion here um that's all i need for now Go away. I'm just talking to the shopkeeper, anyway. And then I said, just because you're uneasy as a goat doesn't mean men like you. You might as well charge for it. Let me tell you the look on her face. Wow, that's rude, lady. I've been keeping track of your deeds. Yeah, I know. Uh, from the Book of Eagles, sometimes the path that helps you move on lies behind us. Only those who look back may find a new way forward. Meditations 312. Here's that cloaked figure who says dot dot dot. Here's a... The hospital. Welcome to our hospital. We provide two services, a quick refresh for 17 coins that will restore all your health. Alternatively, you can also go for a full treatment, restoring all your health and your mana for 29 coins. I'm not going to do either right now, thank you very much. Uh, I own this hospital, my sister's nurse, if you're wounded in the arrest, blah blah blah. Okay. Wait a minute, she said we don't do happy endings though, so don't ask. Uh, I just saw happy endings as I clicked away and was like, what did that say? We can take the temple back. Y'all are such cowards. We locked up the Temple of Bones for a reason. We barely use it as is. Let the monsters have it. We can bury our dead elsewhere. Uh, during the war, this entire forest used to be a battlefield. Most men are either buried right where they fell or torn apart by the enemy. Good times. Um, we're into a new area where it looks like where there's a single crow to kill, and then we're dropping down a pit. And, uh, oh, there's a poison river below me. Let's not go in there. Um, ooh, the crow just flew into the poison river. Hee <laughs> hee, too bad for you. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this. Obviously, I'm very early on in it still, but, uh, it has not, it has not in any way, uh, driven me away. The menus are discouraging, uh, and the lack of tutorialization and, and information is a little frustrating, but, you know, ah, uh, here's another, another locked door, and here's our demon lady friend again. Um, should we take, we're gonna take the key this time. All right. Uh, that's probably not gonna come back to bite me, right? Oh, there's a doorway up above me, but I just can't quite jump up the ledge to get there, so I bet I'm gonna get a double jump in this Temple of Bones that I just went into. 
Um, there's there's nothing. Uh, if you are experienced enough to like to play with uh, an interface and figure things out, then there's nothing to totally push you away from this game, except for this solid wall that I've just come across that I cannot surpass. So. I guess I can't proceed through the Temple of Bones yet. Maybe this is what the person said when they were like, oh, you have to move backwards to move forward. Except I also can't go out the door I came in. Oh, there's a pit to the left of me. I bet I can drop down that pit onto another screen. Yeah, okay, so that's one thing that's a little uh, a little rough. I guess the game taught me that I could go down the pit by putting me in that room earlier uh, when I left the town that only had a pit to drop in. But like years of video games tell me not to go down pits. And, uh, and this game is just like, nah, go ahead, drop down a pit. That's how you, that's how you go. Um, so yeah, uh, there, there's just, there's some, um, like, telegraphing issues and tutorializing issues in this game. Where, like, I can go up here, but only because I, I know it because there's a slight gap in the ceiling. And that could certainly be a, a more visible gap than it is. Um, on the other hand, I am very in favor of, like, Ooh, this is a big naked statue with a skull face. That's not what I'm very in favor of. That's just what appeared on my screen as I was speaking there. It sounded like I was saying I'm in favor of a big naked statue with a skull face, which I mean is fine. I'm not opposed to big naked statue with a skull face, but it was not what I was trying to convey there. What I was trying to say is I'm very in favor of a game on the Castlevania side of things that has a female protagonist because, um, you know, we've got Samus representing on, on the Metroid side of things, but on the Castlevania side of the Metroidvania, uh, lineage, I feel like there's there's not as many female characters. And this one um, seems like uh, our main character and several of the side characters I died are, are women, which is pretty cool. So I do like that aspect of it. Um, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, that was a little bit of the Skylia Prophecy. Um, it does take you back to the title screen when you die, which is interesting. And then you do load save game, which I mean, it's it just loads right back up, but it could just... Seems like it could just take me back to the checkpoint. But in any case, uh, that's a little bit of Skyly Prophecy. Oh, there's a, a, a control section here on the front page. Move is the left stick. B is jump. A is menu back. I don't know what that means. Y is attack. X is special attack. Uh, plus is my inventory. D-pad to move. Left to switch potion. Or left uh, bumper. Right bumper to switch ability. Um, ZL to use potion. ZR to use ability. And then minus to pause. So... It does have that information. Um, now I am stuck on the control screen. And I have pushed... Okay, so I pushed something that started to leave the control screen. But now, I'm on the control screen. And real quick, I'm going to push A, B, Y, X. Down, left, up, right. Right bumper, left bumper, right trigger, left trigger. Uh, start. Select. Clicking the sticks in. Um, I have I have soft locked the game apparently on the control screen, which again doesn't speak very highly of it. So uh, Skyly Prophecy has um, some rough spots, but it seems like there's a, a, a you know a decent enough little uh, action platformer in here if that's what you're into. There's no map button on this screen, so maybe this is less Metroidvania and more straightforward. Couldn't tell you because uh, I'm stuck right now. But um, yeah, that's a little bit of Skyly Prophecy. Until next time, friends. Tap A and hope that it lets you escape this menu. Tap A and hope for the best. The Power Playthroughs podcast is part of the We Can Make This Work Probably podcast network and geek to geek media. Visit chortlepower.com to find more of my nonsense, links to both networks, and the Patreon where you can support the show.